Or is it going to show me it anyway? We have a Geralt of Rivia avatar. You're not helping with the last one. One game from Pro. <laughs> this doesn't work like that. You have to help, otherwise I don't make it to Pro. Then with my own power. We've just played three games where playing the way they spam that I would play it would not have uh, not have worked out. You know? Gets Pro and lose like 50 matches in a row and then you can stream snipe you. Uh, me, yeah. In order to enter and participate in Pro Rank, I must agree to abide by the Grandmaster's official rules. By clicking Agree, give us consent to share your personal data with CD Projekt, blah, blah, blah. I mean, sure, I agree, but I'm not in the Pro Rank yet, am I? You can change your answer. Great. I'm still Rank 1. Why is it telling me about pro rank? You just taught me how to use Whaley right. Three matches in a row against two direct counters and a mirror match. Keep a stiff neck. But I don't remember anything. <laughs> and look how much bronze we have. It's telling you because if you don't agree and then when the paperwork is more complicated. All right, so we, if we disagree, it would say, well, we're going to take a, a thing off your mosaic. Anyway, with this horrible hand, we say we don't want two swords masters. We don't want um, and two waylays is fine for this because we have Banadine there. Let's say that we don't want this. Angus as well. Oh, and we're going first. Interesting. Okay, then... No Swords Master. Well, if we didn't pull out all the cards that we needed... We're playing Imprisonment. Lock an enemy unit and damage it by three. I think I'm just going to play it the normal way. Because I don't... You can lock things with Heist. And it doesn't really matter. So... On the expectation that you're not helping, I will just play and try and do things the way I think they're supposed to be done. Let's push back the commando. If you disagree, they just disable your ability to rank up, since rank 1 would be the highest for you. Yeah. Peasant Militia. They're playing Peasant Militia. I don't think I've seen anyone play this card. Right. Let's play Angus. There isn't a normal way or an unnatural way. You were always taught how to weigh in circumstance that your opponent doesn't know what's happened. The winning method with Waylay is to play in the way that best suits your opponent's abilities. You're getting very deep now, Citrine, because that's just the way to play any Gwent hand, in a way. Oh, we're playing a weird deck and I don't know what's going on. Move the highest cost card in your opponent's deck to the top of it. Move the lowest cost card in your opponent's deck to the top of it. Why did they move the scenario to the top of it? How does that help them? Right, well, we're replaying Angus. This is not a common deck. No, I can tell. Um, the question is, do I start playing Vanadine? I think maybe yes. It's a fun deck. Do I really want to play? Yeah. 
Sure, let's do it. One will not be heard. Assume your opponent plays the best they can with the cards, the best cards they have. Let us see. Okay, so they pull the best card to the front and then Let it put, one. they use it themselves. Cantarella. Mill to pro. So this is real mill. I've been playing like a few games against some people who are maybe half mill, and this is now the real mill. Anyway, let's replay Vanadine. A crazy version. Um. And then. Sure, let's do this. Well, I can't kill you anyway. So. Oh dear. Damage an enemy unit by three. Spawn play a base copy of it. Always trigger the death blow ability. Very rare deck with which mix elements with Mill Nilfgaard and Assimilate Nilfgaard. I always call it Mirror Guard. C. I mean, this is quite a card to have stolen from me in that case. You know, if they're playing more of them. Anyway, I don't know what we're doing, so we're just going to do this. Must the woods abandon? Join us instead and defend the valley. Uh, the question is, do we click? I guess not. Like we could just keep playing waylays that way, but we have some this in hand. So, since they copy whatever their opponent's strategy is and rob them of their cards, the right mirror guard in that sense. Reveal the top card and banish it. I mean, this is not good. Because they're going to start banishing my waylays. Which is making me a bit worried. It's completely fine. Okay. I mean, getting rid of that card is fine. What do I want now? That's the question. We want our deck sizes to stay relatively similar. Am I just playing a waylay now? Because Vanadine's on the board, so it's extra points. Um, wait, wait. Can they replay some of these cards? Don't do it on Kingslayer. Okay. For the daisy of the valley! As long as you don't get Alyssa, you should Good. They can replay Kingslayer. Okay. Defeat them with hunger. Cow carcass. Move a card in your deck to the top of it. If it was a mage spawn, uh, no. Special card. So they've moved a special card to the top. I'm gonna play the other way lane, and then maybe I'll a Nairo for Alyssa. I assume we want to keep playing, even though we're not really a good long round sort of people. Time for you to die. I'm talking as so though you're going to help me, but I, I know that you're leaving me on my own here. If, if I'm about to make a horrible decision, you'll help? Okay. That's nice, but also there's a delay, so... For example, we should pass her. Okay. Fair enough. Even though we're only seven points 
down. I feel like they could overcome that easily, but... I suppose I'll have to have a card plus. They will count carcass and it's worth 14 points. Yeah, like that. Okay. But we couldn't have won it anyway, I think is what we're trying to say. Though they did use a lot of their good cards, hopefully. Didn't have a way to stop it, so it's better not to try. Yeah, agreed. Okay, what cards do we have left? This is pretty much not too many of them, but the main point is we got so much of our setup done. Yeah. I mean, I like these cards. I don't think there's anything... Wait, we want a lesser. We can just a lesser since they probably pass. And a Naira, yeah. Yeah, as soon as I clicked, I was like, but we have a Nairo there, so what am I doing? Okay. So yeah, we a Nairo. Into Where is she gone? There she is. Alyssa. Death would be a mercy you do not deserve. Now the main thing is maybe don't brick. If you lose the game at this point, zero hope. <laughs> but okay, having the sapper would be good, but that is the Anira target, or no, Heatwave's the Anira target. I I really think I shouldn't click because I've got, you know, eight waylays in there. If I click, I start losing waylays. Even though we have the bomber. Heatwave is the target, 100%. Okay. Well, I don't want to risk clicking, even though it's not the greatest of cards. We're going to start with the heist. Kelgrim or Ivo? Yeah. One of them. Both of them? Well, I suppose Heatwave doesn't work that way, but... Ah, a taste of murder, is it? Okay. You don't think we care about the poison? You don't think we care about the dame? Like, because I can damage it with the bowman. Yeah. The only thing is if, if I want to be doing these things. I should be doing them first, but let's see. What happens when we do this? See how worried they get. Not that worried because they have another one. This deck doesn't usually have balls, so you got weirded out. Me too. So, like, one, two, three, four, five. We're up to five waylays. I mean, at the moment, we just replay. Seems useless in the deck. Or maybe this is the other half of the deck, though. Anyway, we're going to replay it, yeah. Um, and then, just to... Because we need it out early... I guess. Oh, I should have played this first. Losing points already. They have a Nairo into Joachim. Devet. Which is the card we saw last time.
Um, your opponent smoking. Replay it. I mean, we, ideally we want to replay Vern, but I suppose we can only replay her once. So... We can't replay it. He's a warrior. We can... We replayed this. I'm confused. Do we actually want to, though? Okay, replay him. Uh, what? Anywhere particular? No. Commander Hurry, yeah. <laughs> it's a perfect match, it's so cool. Unless there's something else we're missing. Copy all statuses excluding infused from an enemy unit to another enemy unit. I mean, they could just get rid of them very easily, I suppose. Who solved by the number of stasis has copied? Fine. Um, Bronze Girl, yep. Yeah. Two random things. We're going to leave some space on the front. Replaying Joachim with heist you've never seen before. This is why we watch Quarky Plugs. He always brings new interesting content to the world. Replay dozens of Nilfgaard agents with heist. Um, so, Simless Time? Yep, Simless Time. At your age, at two centuries, you behave like you were barely Right, one. and we're aiming for points. Well, first maybe we get rid of the Dame. Um, and then... Just points. Because these are just deploy abilities. It was the same, that one, but... And you think they've got a big point slam card? Because you mentioned... Opponent connection lost. Is this the way it happens? Their connection has been fine. But up until this point, when they see Simless... You were wondering if they were carrying Igni until their connection was lost. Kogram is like a three power card because they played this deck so wrong. So maybe they don't have that, but they should have the other one, Ivo. Maybe they don't have that either. I mean, of all the ways, to, uh, to win. Opponent connection lost, and they were forced to forfeit. You have won the game. Do we give them a GG because, it, you know, we, um, I feel like we do. As a thank you for letting me get to pro. And it was an interesting deck, so thank you, Mr. Fear Khan. Thank you very much for the congratulations. We lose our mosaic, but we gain this weird symbol, a crown. Uh, I don't even know what to do now. It was a good game up until the end when they did just forfeit. I would say it was a very good game. Um, hey, and also Autumn Quest. That's Autumn Cycle stuff is, you know, very important, clearly. Uh, we can claim a reward. So now we can use this, Professional. I feel like we used the, um, the Geralt one for so short an amount of time that it's not really that fair. Um, I mean, I want to take this opportunity to thank uh, both you, Citrine, the F-Jams, and everyone who up to this point has helped me. Um, 
both learn the game from the tutorial, um, teach me some good decks to maybe make, such as Waylay Spam, um, and some interesting ones, and you know, all the things within Gwent. It has been... I definitely wouldn't be here on Stream 29 if A, people didn't, you know, take the time to spend it with me and help me. Um, and I definitely wouldn't be on Pro Rank on Stream 29 uh, having, you know, uh, not had all of your help and support and all that stuff. So yeah, I want to thank everyone who has been part of the journey, whether you're here today or not. Uh, how's that for four straight rank? One wins with Waylay? Yes, all you need to do is be a very good player and have good people behind you supporting all the way. Uh, three of them being against Mirror and Counters. I mean, the last one... Okay, let's not call the last one a counter, but sure. Let's do... Last one was wild. Yeah. Let's call it wild. Let's do... What, ten? Ten celebratory... Skellige cakes. And we're going to pack, what? Facusia, Melusine? Um, <laughs> who else? That dude had the good stuff. Melusine and Facusia, right. Because only pros get those cards. We we know that only pros get those cards. Wow, wow's not by no place, no how. I see you in rank three tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason why I'm having a bonus Gwent stream today, and that's because I felt like there was an opportunity. Uh, having got to rank one, this, you know, I'm being quite close. Yeah, I, I'm not expecting to play the 75 games that you maybe have to play to actually rank properly and get to the top 500. Yeah, I, I just wanted to get to pro. And then, yeah, I'll see you in rank 3 tomorrow. Um, uh, but we were getting 25 keys. Yeah, gotta love those keys. Anyway, we have things which we already have. The Svalblood Butcher. An Ancrate Marauder, which we have. And our epic pick. I feel like Vild Carl transform into champion of Svalblood. Would this be used with Svalblood spam? Who's just been nerfed? 100% even though there's a nerf coming for Svalblood. And Harold Hound Snout. Deploy, uh, spawn three Harold's powers on the other row. Damage an allied unit by one. I don't know, we'll go with this anyway. Because, you know, who doesn't want something which is being mauled by a bear? Uh, minimum 100 games a season, at least 25 and 4 different factions to place on the leaderboard. Is Falbor getting there? I, I think I saw that. I had a very, very quick look at the patch notes. Um, I would go look at them now, but I don't have... Uh, let me just see if I can quickly find it. Because maybe I'm making it up. Um, monsters, Northguard, Squid Hell, Skelliger, Spellblood. Damage required to spawn a Spellblood fanatic. Change from 6 to 8. That's no problem. Fair enough. Um, he needs 25 with different factions when you can play 500 with Northern Realms and gain 9 MMR. Is that what you do, the F-Jams? <laughs> we have all of those things, so I won't even read them out. Uh, Bear Witch Quartermaster we obviously have. And our Razzies, again, we have all of these things. Usually do like 10 to 12 a turn. Okay. Your comfort zone might be a problem. I mean, as long as you're having fun, that's the main thing with this game. Have fun. Because otherwise, why play a game that's not fun? Anyway, Hermit we have. Demon Corsair we have. And I cannot see a premium here, so let's go with... I don't know, this one. 
Uh, Vandegrift got buffed. Radovir judgment is ten times neater now. They're really trying to hide the uh, trying to add a thing. Yeah, it's Vandegrift is cursed, which plays into the the adder card. Hey, we must have hit like twenty decks without uh, kegs without a, a legendary. So we have all these things, obviously. And our legendary choice. We can either have Hoylin, Heulin, boost all allied humans by one, start the game with five random Skurga bronze humans in your graveyard. Care Trolled, I think we've seen that one a few times. Create and play a bronze and crate unit, order, give an allied unit six armor, then it clashes with an enemy unit. Care Trolled all day. Best location in the game. No cap. One bang and one straight bang into bang another one. Trash. Not even high provision cost. Cool. Right, Marjoram, Hermit, Drum and Berserker. And Crate Marauder. Legendary. Legendary. Sove or Tear? Well, that's this is a this is a choice. We need both all three of them as well. Who's Hyalmar? Uh they clash with an enemy unit. Whenever you play whenever you play a raid, remove all armor from self and adjacent pirates and ships, then boost them and self by the amounts removed. The F Jams votes for Sove. Hyalmar is huge payoff for pirate Skullga. Gonna right click carefully. So he's yeah, a big provision costly. I guess they all are. 14, 14, 12. Sove is the cheapest one. Which makes it one of the better picks. But isn't like everyone playing tier? Sove is huge payoff for whatever. Of course, played in more decks and has more flexibility, but tier is the ultra god card for graveyard and warrior skeleton. I guess we go with Sove then. As for this first pick, if it's used in more decks, Probably the way I'm leading. I've gone for save. Right. Have all those things. We get a Jutta, but we already have one, so that's not really helpful. So it can be slotted into Beast Gulliga, and it's not that bad. Now you have most stuff for Beast Gulliga. Maybe that's what we're going to go for. Maybe I shouldn't make the first games in Pro be a brand new deck, though. <laughs> it's probably not. Um, we have all these, so I guess it doesn't matter. Let's just get that. <laughs> Boat Builders, Whale Harpuna. He may protect a Raging Bear, which is good. Now we have a second one. Oh, shiny. Our oh, shiny. Um. For Beast Gurga, you still use Melusine and Fikus here, though. So, rip that idea. Fair enough. Um, Offering to the Sea, which is an alchemy card. Damage all units on the battlefield by one. Then spawn a deafening siren on a random allied row, boosted by the number of allied targets. The number of allied targets. Like, damage all enemy. Sorry. Well, Arnval could technically, technically be used in a Cult of Skellige, and it's not a war crime. Transform a damaged allied unit into a bear abomination. I'm guessing we're going with that one, if it's not a war crime. So many cool cards like these that never see play. Well, with the whole, you know, Gwentfinity thing, then... Maybe this card, instead of it being 6 provision, will become a 5? No, it's never going to be a 5 provision card. Offering of the Sea is... never played. Never seen it used. Okay. Good thing I didn't choose it then. Right, have all these things. 
even have that thing. And of course, we have this. Disgraced Brawler. Great. Uh, Regis Bloodless had the Banish Your Deck text removed. Yes, I saw that and wasn't 100% sure if that's really what it was, because they just said something along the lines of when on the battlefield it now applies to top three cards. But it was when it was on the battlefield and you lose that you would then lose your whole deck or something. They killed the monster mill. That sounds like that song. I guess it can be used for the monster combos to stop the opponent from deleting opponent's deck. But it, you know, the times when I played it, it didn't really work. So. One bang splash. Battle now is trash. Um, we have three rares, of which we probably have all of them, and none of them are premium. So. Anyway, we got a couple of legendaries there. Whether it was because we hadn't had a legendary in so long or not. We, we still managed to get some. Uh, the times your opponent played it, they forgot they had to actually win the round. Uh, want to make a Rain Beast Skeletor deck? You want to do it now? Should I not, like, play a game in... Thanks for watching. Oh. If you enjoyed the video, then please leave a like. And if you think you would enjoy more, then please subscribe. Or even join me live on Twitch. Whilst it's cliche, all of these will help the channel. On screen is something carefully curated, or something the YouTube algorithm suggests, or maybe even both. In any case, have a great day.